you stepped out. So, Mr. Jarnicky, will you give us an opening prayer? Yes. Dear God, we uh, thank you for the opportunity to meet here today uh, for our session of the Republic of Texas Congress. We thank you that everybody got here safe and sound on and uh, going. Uh, we ask that you give us guidance and direction and everything that is said and done in this meeting. In Christ's name we pray, amen. I agree. Okay. Uh, the uh, chairman for today's joint session is uh, vice president elected and uh, Senate. Uh, I got that wrong on this agenda. I never changed it. Uh, and Senate uh, uh, Pro Tem President Ken <laughs> Yeah uh, Boy it's hell whenever the brain starts messing with your mind when it starts messing with itself okay. Ken Barnett excuse me Mr. Barnett. Um, today we're going to have the Sergeant at Arms is going to be Earl Forrester. And good to see you again, Earl. Glad you could make it out. Thank you. Um, Speaker Bullock is going to announce the records keeper. Okay, the records keeper, uh, we've got two today. Uh, one online, and that's uh, Representative Barry uh, Brooks. And here present uh, as backup is is uh, Representative Mike. <sighs> excuse me, Mike. Uh, and the rest of you, excuse me, because I'll forget your first name and last name more than likely here today. The way things are going. Uh, uh, so it's uh, Barry and Mike are doing this. Okay, I was going to go over the requirements for, for conducting a good joint session. Since we have no new guests here, uh, I see no point in doing that. Uh, but I would ask you all to understand that you've got we're going to be trying to follow Robert's rules as far as the way we conduct these meetings. And you must request the floor if you want to speak to some item. And uh, once you've been recognized, please speak through a microphone and hold that microphone up close to your mouth. Otherwise, it won't pick you up. Now, I would assume that most, if not all, of you already know that, but I'm going to repeat it and ask that nobody speak more than three minutes when they're speaking on the subject. Try to condense it down to three minutes. And uh, I've been, been catching a lot of flack from people about people getting up to speak and then getting up to speak the second time and repeating what they said the first time and then getting up even a third time and repeating it. Uh, you can't get up and speak the second time on a subject until everybody has had the opportunity to speak. Uh, and once that's happened, then you can speak the second time on it if you feel it's necessary. Uh, the other thing is, is I've been very lax uh, at our sessions ever since I became speaker. And uh, prior to me becoming speaker, the rule was in the congressional sessions, the only ones that can speak on the agenda items or on the 
But as long as we're in session, are members of the House and Senate. And if there was any guest that wanted to speak, he had to get the attention of the Sergeant of Arms and ask him to take a message up to his representative to uh, uh, request that he could have the floor to speak. And if that wasn't granted, that was the end of it. Well, I decided way back, I guess four, four or five years ago, that the way we're going to conduct this is since we don't have enough representatives, since we don't have enough senators, and since we do want the people of Texas to become involved in what we're doing, I think it was only appropriate that we allow them to speak. But that has broken out now to be that anybody that wants to speak can speak, and we allow them to speak. And whether they're talking about the current subject matter on the agenda or anything else, they go ahead and speak about it. And so I'm going to start enforcing the rule that no one can speak on, on the agenda items until everybody in the Congress has had to say so. And then they can request the floor. And their, their comments have to be directly on that subject matter or else I will gavel them down, or the chairman will gavel them down, okay? Uh, we've got people that uh, want to get on. They don't want to be part of Congress, but yet they want to have some say-so on what the Congress is doing. And so uh, my attitude is that, look, if you, want to, if you want to have impact in the Congress, you've got to be in the Congress. Otherwise, you can come and make your comments, but that's the end of it. The Congress can take into consideration whether they want to deal with that or not. So that's, that's, that's the approach I'm taking from now on. Does anybody disagree with that approach? Okay, good. I, I thank you for the thumbs up. That's, that's telling me that you're in accord. Okay, you're in accord with that. Uh, I always try to be fair with everybody, and I encourage participation because I think if we get participation from people, they may become interested enough to, to become part of the government, okay? And we know we need the government. You all got a piece of paper in front of you that says that we've got an election coming up in, in September, and we need people to sign up and become members of, of this Congress uh, to help us achieve the goals that we're trying to achieve. I guess I've spoken long enough on that. I'll, I'll, I'll let that go. Uh, we have the uh, next item on the I, I, should, I should turn this back over to you. Okay. Okay. For that next item. All right. Um, normally, prior to doing any more business, we'd have a report by the um, Secretary of State, who is also not here um, at the meeting today. He had a wedding to go to, and uh, so. He would also normally give any oaths of office, and we have somebody that needs one but is not here, so there won't be any oaths of office given today. And the next item up on the agenda, I guess, is the roll call. And I will call for the senators um, John Jarnicky. Here. Lloyd Zant. Here. Don Ballard. Ann Anderson. Richard Wagner, Dwayne Williams, and Glenn Fern. I'm here. Okay, we have three, so we do not have a quorum. Is Dwayne Williams on mine yet? Yeah. He is. I see a Stanley. Who? Stanley, I don't know. No, that's not him. So we have three and we do not have a quorum. And here. 
second. Speaker Bullock will call the roll for the representatives. Unless you want me to do that. No, I'll do it. I'm, I'm just looking. I, I just noticed that the, the folder that I took out for myself, the folder that I took out for myself is actually for Mesquite, the eighth session. And that's why I'm wondering why in the heck am I going here? Okay. For the House of Representatives from Brazoria County, Representative Tom Bailey. Present. Present. Okay. He's in another room, but he's present. Okay, good. Thank you, Tom. From Harris County, Representative John Bernard. Not online and not present here. Okay. From Fannin County, Representative Mike Blackwell. Present. Present. From Brazoria County, Bruce Bullock. Present. From Milam County, Charles Goodwin. Charles Goodwin, not present. From Nacogdoches County, Barry Brooks. Present. Present. From Brazos County, Marcus Jamal Harris. Not present. From Travis County, Francis Francisco Nieto the third. Present. Present. From Fayette County, David Sparks. Present. Present. From Bear County, Henry Turn. Not present. I wish we could find out what's wrong with Mr. Turner. We haven't heard from him in several months. All attempts to communicate with him have failed. Uh, leaving messages on either of his two phones doesn't get any response back, and he's not responding to any emails. I'm concerned about his health, but I have no way, I don't even have his address that I can call the police and ask him to go check on him. So. I don't know what Mr. Turner's issues may be, but we haven't heard from him now in what? Four or five sessions, I think. And lastly, from Austin County, Kevin Weinkin, who was supposed to join us on Zoom. I talked to him yesterday, and he said he was going to be joining us on Zoom right, two days ago, I guess it was. Uh, but I know he has trouble logging on to Zoom. And he doesn't necessarily fully comprehend the instructions that I give him that tell him that these sessions are always a, a, a unique meeting ID number, whereas all the other sessions we have on Zoom are at my meeting ID number. So he's not present. So we've got in the house one, two, three, four five, six. So we've got six present, and so we have a quorum. And since the Senate only has three present, uh, we don't have a quorum in the, in, in the Senate. So the actions that we take here, uh, uh, the House will vote on them, and we can try to finalize it for the House. The Senate will have to uh, take this up in a special session that they can have on Zoom or whatever to try to get these things taken care of. So with that, we go to the minutes. You all received a package from me, I believe it was on Wednesday, that uh, provided you with the minutes and other documents that we are going to be addressing at this session. Uh, and so you have before you the minutes available from for the May session that you had the opportunity to read. Is there any motion to approve them from the House? Representative Nieto, I'll make that motion to approve the minutes. Okay, Nieto. And is there a second from the House? Representative Sparks. Sparks, okay. Thank you, Mr. Sparks. 
Any discussion? Now, if anybody from the Senate's got any comments to make about it, they can. Any discussion from the House? Seeing none, we're ready to vote. Can I see a showing of hands? And I will, I will uh, pull Barry online for his vote. Uh, voting for yay, yes. We're voting for yay to approve these minutes as submitted to you. All those in favor, please hold up your hand. I got one, two, three here. Tom, are you voting for these minutes? Four. Okay. I've got four here. Mr. Mr. Brooks, your vote. Yay. So we've got five yays. And there is no chance for any nays. And there is no chance for any... Since I make the sixth one up, uh, there is no abstention. So the minutes pass the House. House only, okay? Hopefully the Senate will take care of this business online sometime between now and our July session. Okay? Uh, I'll give this back to, to the chairman. The, or the next item on the agenda is an update on the International Committee and Billy Ford normally would do that. Um, we currently are reading a book. Oh, Our Enemy the State. We are reading a book named Our Enemy the State. And interestingly, this book was written back in 18 either 85 or 95 and it's a book that if you read it you would think it was written today I mean this guy had some insights into what was going on in government and politics in general that just staggers your imagination when you realize what he's talking about is exactly what we have today and nothing but the elite working for the elite and nothing in this system has anything to do with the people it's not about the people it's not for the people it's not by the people for sure and uh, this was a man that recognized this in the late 1800s very interesting book if anybody has a chance to pick it up and read it i would highly recommend it Um, the next item up on the agenda is the Technology and Public Relations Committee update. And I think Senator Fern, was, do you have anything to say about that? Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. Hmm. What? Do you want to talk about the uh, Technology and oh, yeah. Public Relations sure. Committee? <clears throat> okay. Uh, Right now, we have um, um, 808 subscribers, total of 35,000 views. Um, I've got some material that I need to make videos from that I haven't done yet. Got a total of 106 videos. The uh, most viewed video is um, Texas and other American states is under a military occupation with 5,000 hits, 5,400 hits. And uh, then uh, there's Anna von Reitz with uh, 3,800 hits. Um, anyways, I was uh, answering some emails. There was a bunch of people that sent emails, and so I answered them and forwarded some emails to you. Uh, people that were interested. There's one guy in particular that's interested that's from Gainesville. 
and um, so I've got several videos that I need to do that um, I haven't done yet. The, the videos from the last meeting and then I'll have the videos from this one as well um, that I need to make and upload. The uh, blog is also getting some interest. There's some people that sent us emails off of the blog. I'm just looking for their... Uh, I'm not seeing. Usually there's a, there's a place where you can uh, see the emails that people are sending you. Um, anyways, um, so there was a bunch of emails that, that I got that were from the blog that uh, some of my forwarded. Some I sent to Ed because they were related to the tax uh, conference call. Some of them were just general inquiries that I forwarded on to you. The um, I guess that's about it, really. How, how long does it usually take from the time you produce a video until you get it online? Well, it, it, that's all I have to do is upload it. Um, I have a video software that I use. I just, uh, I recently was kind of busy with my uh, Northeast Private Information Chair. I was up in New Jersey, so that kind of had me sidetracked. Um, but. Um, Usually in a day, I can have several videos uploaded, and I schedule them to to be published, uh, so that uh, you know on on even intervals, um, and then I schedule to send emails when they get published, so so all of our subscribers and everybody on our email list get a notice that the video has been published. But. Um, so it's, it doesn't take long. I mean, I can, uh, I've got actually one video that um, is, it's huge though, that's the problem. I'm gonna have to break it down. It was um, uh, Desi Andrews speaking at the last one. It's, uh, it's eight gigabytes. That's too big to upload to YouTube. So I'll have to break it in half at least and maybe down to three separate videos is what I'm thinking. Um, yes. I have looked at the. Uh, I think did you did you record it, uh, Frankie? I, I live streamed it just mm -hmm. like I'm doing this. One. And and you had it on. Uh, you have it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I I went and viewed that. I would wish that before we show the whole thing, like I'm too close. Okay. I would wish that before we show the whole thing. If you watch the beginning of that thing, there's a big file up up there. We're trying to get the mic set for her, and we're right. bumping her in the head with the microphone and all that. I cut that stuff up. Okay, please do. I mean, that that uh, yeah. Somebody start watching that. They'll they'll give up before they ever get to her. Yeah, I, I cut that stuff out Good. because um, you know there's always stuff that's at the beginning uh, that you know needs just it's not yeah. relevant. Um, it could be just, you know, everybody standing around talking, you know. Right. And so I, I cut out, that's one of the things I do is I'll, I'll at least, um, at the beginning, I'll cut off the stuff that's, you know, doesn't have her speaking, and then at the end as well, I'll do the same thing. Yeah. And then, um, well, this one I'm going to have to probably break up into uh, like two or three videos anyways because the files are so big. Yeah. But, um, um, so... Anyway. Yeah, this this one here, I, I, I started, I introduced her, and then when she came up to the mic, and everybody was complaining, look, we don't have good sound here. We spent a lot of time there, somebody crawling underneath the table trying to move things, and, and so that doesn't look too good in the video. Well, so in that case, I'll probably cut out the stuff, I'll have you introducing her, and, and then, then I'll cut out the stuff where she's messing around with yeah. stuff, and when she gets underway, then that's where it'll happen. I can my video software is um, pretty slick that way. I can I can do all sorts of things with it. Good. Um, so 
Yeah, that's but, the problem. But that's an important topic that needs to be got out so as many people as possible can see that video. That one's an important one. Okay. I believe. Okay. Well, I'll make it a priority. Yeah, right yeah. now, well, I've been doing a lawsuit and um, I just about got it ready. So that's been eating up a lot of my time too. Get that, get that done and what I will do with it, if you get it to me, I will put it on our on our web page, and I'm gonna I'm gonna swap it with what we're showing right now is 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 for for Mike's book. Okay, he's got the big box up there, and right now we got the small box. It's apparently what what you recorded uh, that uh, is is on there. Maybe it's from from uh, no, I think it is from actually from uh, on Avery's live stream. But you both took the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't. Uh, mine's just what I live streamed was just a joint session. Like uh -huh. I left before Desi started speaking. So. Okay. Right, and I've got that. I've got that. And um, uh, but I don't. But I. But the Desi was uh, something that Ed had to because uh, Ron didn't um, didn't um, record that. Oh no. No, he didn't. No. Yeah, but yeah, someone yeah. did. Someone You're did. Right. I streamed it, but he didn't record it. That's correct. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Because I I downloaded I downloaded the session and I got that no problem from his live stream, but I couldn't. I, there was nothing there about Desi's. But anyways, Ed actually made arrangements for me to download the, the Desi's presentation through uh, someone else that lives in Austin that I guess was there and recorded it. Yeah, I think she brought her own yeah. people oh, to record. Yeah. yeah, right. So I think that's part of what you got. Yeah, it. and and the file was huge. It took forever to download. It's eight gigabytes. Yeah, and I, I think what happened with Ron Avery was he split those in two because I watched her part of it, but the session wasn't on there. So if you saw the other part, he must have made that into two videos. Yeah, I asked. Well, I asked Ron to split it into two. I, I wanted them separate so that it would be easier to go ahead and. Yeah, but for some reason, the link that you sent out was only for the first part. Yeah, right. I couldn't. I couldn't get anything. I mean, I couldn't find it. You know. But anyways, Ed had made arrangements for me to download it, and I contacted the guy, and you know, I did get it downloaded. It took a while. Yeah, he um, was in the back. He was in the far back of the room, and he was he was videoing over the heads of the of the audience there. Yeah, so we'll see how it came, comes out. I mean, I can do a lot of things with my software, um, and um, you know, I can cut stuff out. I can insert things. I can you know, put some advertisements in there. Check out the Republic of Texas. You know, our website. Anyways, um, so. You probably have seen all that stuff on my on the other videos uh, that I insert little little blurbs. Um, so that's no big deal. Um, I will um, uh, make that a priority. Hopefully, I'll get to it, get to it this week. Okay. Anything else, Glenn? I think that's about it. Um, the um, I don't. I'm not sharing my screen. Otherwise, I could show you the the, the channel right now. But. Um, um, the, uh, the actual Congress sessions don't get a lot of traffic, like the, um, the morning session on January got, has 93 hits, and then in February is 98 hits, and then the afternoon session in January has got 35 hits, so some of them get a lot of hits, some of them don't. Um, the jurisdiction conference call, there's a lot of people that are interested in that, and Kerry has you know, some good information there. And uh, so, anyways. Okay. I want to add add something to the technology committee that I'm going to be talking to the technology committee about, and I think Ken has something he wants to bring up about the technology committee. Uh, one is is that. Uh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay, it was about uh, Doc Green's radio program, internet radio program, okay? Doc is very willing to work with us. He says, we're both working on the same thing, trying to get information out to the people about the truth in this, in this state and in this country. And it's about trying to get Texas independent of that, 
uh, independent of the United States. He says, we're both very much in favor of doing that. He's in favor of doing it whatever way possible. Okay? And so I think we can get on his radio program and, and be talking about the Republic of Texas, be talking about what's going on with the Republic of Texas, and at the same time, I think we ought to put him down as a friend of the Republic of Texas, okay? So I'm going to be asking the Technology Committee uh, to agree on that, and if so, then we'll be coming back to the Congress and getting the Congress to, to okay it, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, get a mic. Get a mic. Right to you. Is, uh, is Doc Green uh, interested in becoming a, uh, a Texian? A Texian? I don't think so. Uh, I, I haven't asked him to, but I think we can give him some good things to think about becoming a Texian. I think we need to ask him. If he yeah. wants to be a friend, he certainly ought to be a Texian. Mm -hmm. seems to be. Well, what I'm looking at in particular is trying to get our word out. And if we start working through people like Doc Green, that's going to help us because he's got a pretty good listening audience, okay? He's got a pretty good listening audience. And uh, those people are like thinking like we're thinking. Uh, most of them are probably interested in the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? When they want to remove themselves from the United States. Seceding. Seceding, right? Yeah. Well, I'm having a difficult time recalling words today. Uh, and so, uh, you know, he, he's in favor of whatever way we can get the hell out of the United States. Go ahead, Glenn. Um, you know, um, the more I study about this, I think probably the single most important point that we need to hammer home every time is that Texas is under military occupation. Yeah. And, right. and most people do not realize the implications of that. And certainly the powers that be don't want people to know. Because if you think about it, the last time it happened, there was a, there was a uh, war of independence. And... and um, um, not that I'm not, I'm not certainly not encouraging people to go and do that kind of stuff, but, but, and I think that when you start, when you start bringing up those issues, I mean, things change, okay? And uh, because uh, under international agreements, there are certain rights that you have that they're not giving you. They engage in war crimes all the time and uh, taking reprisals for our political beliefs. You know, I bet you everybody in this room has had that happen, and um, and and uh, so we need to be bringing that up, and and so I don't have a problem getting on if somebody wants to make an appointment for me or make arrangements for me to uh, speak on this program. I'll certainly explain how how we are under military occupation and what the Libra Code says and uh, and uh, and the, what the rights that that we do have under international agreements under the Geneva Conventions um, and that kind of thing. I don't have a problem with that. Anyways. Okay. Uh, you wanted to say something about... Um, another thing on the uh, Technology Committee in Public Relations that I wanted to talk about was the fact that um, we're in the process basically of trying to revamp the website so that it's compatible with looking at it on your smartphone, which is something that needs to be done because the majority of people, maybe not us, but the majority of younger people, that's how they view life, is on a phone. And if they can't see it properly on the phone, they're not going to stay there. So we need to get the website up to where it's like that. But the more important thing is is we need marketing. We need to be able to drive people to the website. And you can't get people to the website by just making a pretty website. That's not gonna get them there. So the idea of talking about 
to, to the people that you meet on the street when you talk to, to them about such things as secession, which we can't do because in order to secede, you have to have ceded in the first place, which we didn't do, but that's a whole other story. But when you bring up those terms, people have heard those terms before and they know what those mean. And so that's a good icebreaker for talking to somebody about what we do and how to get people to our website. And once we've got the website up and running properly so that it works on a cell phone, um, we need to get some cards printed or something that everybody can have a card so that you can hand it to them so you don't have to write down a website or say, oh, here's the website, remember this. And that way they've got a reference that they can go to. If they have interest, they can at least go look. Um, another item that I need to bring up that's actually not on the agenda, so we'll call that 10A. Um, we have a lot of records for the Republic of Texas that are here and there and in somebody's attic and somebody's garage and past presidents, past vice presidents, past representatives and senators have records that we need to have in a central place. And we need to figure out a way we get a couple of external hard drives to be able to scan that stuff, put it on a hard drive and have it all in one place. Because when somebody disappears for whatever reason, they die or just go away, we've lost all those records and we don't have any record of it. We need an archive of all the records of the Republic of Texas. And that's something, you know, if anybody has any thoughts on that idea that wants to, you know, go ahead, Fern. Um, Billy Ford had me scan up a bunch of stuff and I scanned it up and digitized it and uh, converted it into PDF files and I gave him a copy of the DVD. Um, I'm just trying to think of uh, who else I might have given a copy to. But it, it had, you know, there was like about six of these banker boxes full of stuff. And, and some of the stuff was really nothing that was, you know, um, related, that was, it seemed to me that it wasn't anything that was that important. But the stuff that, was, that looked like it was something important and we need, that should, we should have. Uh, that's the stuff that I scanned up. Uh, but anyway, so um, I had it all organized on the DVD and, and that was actually in my laptop that the Kerrville pig stole and, um, and I never got it back. So, so I don't have that stuff anymore. Um, but I know Billy Ford's got a, a DVD with that stuff on it. I know at least him. Um, I'm not sure who else I might have given it to, uh, you know, but I know I gave one to Billy Ford. Um, that would be a good start. Um, I know President Branham told me he has a, a garage full of boxes of documents and paperwork from, and it's like, yeah, that's great, but what happens when the house burns down? All that's gone. We need, we need to get that in an archive that's accessible to people that need access to it. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be out for the public in any way, shape, or means, but it does need to be done. And it needs to be done pretty soon because the longer we wait, the bigger that body of work gets and the longer it's gonna to take to do it. Well, um, he's not gonna be around forever, you know. Well, we've already lost two recently. Yep. They were old timers. Do we know if their files they left behind that we need to? From what I've heard, the most recent one, we don't have access to any of his documentation. And the one before, I heard that they're not giving us access. Now, um, what was his name? The Perkins. It was Perkins. Um, he has documentation that we need to get. Now, I don't know that anyone has asked for that documentation yet. But the one before him, we have asked and they have said we can't have it. So... Even yeah. just to video? I mean, and then return to them? 
they, they, they may want to hold on to it as a keepsake, but right, right. we'd like to record it anyway. I, I wasn't part of that discussion or part of that operation, so I don't actually have first-hand knowledge of that. I think you're talking about Lionel, okay? Lionel Lamel. Well, not, well yeah. he is well, but I'm talking about what's his name? Coolidge? Coolidge, right. Coolidge. Well, I think Ed would have access to whatever yeah, Coolidge has. That's what I figured. Uh, but uh, uh, one of the big problems is Lionel. And I think uh, Lionel followed uh, Richard Perkins as Speaker of the House. Am I correct? When, when, when Perkins moved up to be president, then yeah. Lionel took over as Speaker of the House. And I think Perkins may have given all of his files to Lionel. And then when Lionel passed, uh, there was no attempt made, and I, I was asked to, to go and try to get it, and I said, I don't know any of those people. I don't know any of his family. And uh, uh, I asked Richard to do it, but it never happened. And so uh, I don't know what the status of Lionel's files are. My, my guess is they may have disappeared uh, into the trash somewhere else. Because I, I don't think, I don't know for sure, but I don't think his family was necessarily in support of what he was doing. Does anybody know? One son kind of was. Was he? I don't know his name. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a, a problem. And I, you know, I've, I've got a, and Ed's got a very substantial number of files. And I've got a lot. Okay, uh, in my what four or five years in the, in the, in the Congress, uh, and I'm in agreement. I've, I've proposed this in the past that we need to we need to have a central server to put all these on, but also to put them on some backup drives because we know there's a good chance that you could lose them. And where are we if we don't have those files? Where are we? So we're going to be coming back from the Technology Committee again with a, a recommendation to spend some money to get something done. We may start off with someone like Ken has volunteered that, hey, if we get the hard drives and stuff out and, and, and get the files to me, I'll start scanning them in and getting them in there. Uh, and at the same time, you got to get you got to get what uh, what uh, has been done by 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 Glenn for for Mr. Ford, and and get those included in there. So, uh, is there anybody that can disagree that we shouldn't do that? I would think you're all in, in favor of that. It's going to take take a few bucks, but we're going to have to do it. If we don't do it, it's going to cost us a lot of bucks. <laughs> okay. And cost us a lot if we don't do it. So, yeah, we've got to do that. Uh, and so that'll be brought up with the Congress. That'll be brought up with the uh, the uh, Technology Committee. Anything else on that? You got anything else? Okay. Okay. What's the next thing on that agenda? Okay. I'm not going to show you that calendar. Uh, we currently don't have a location for the July session, okay? Tom and I have both been very busy. We've wanted to go up to Waco and, and get this, this Mexican restaurant that has a very nice meeting room there. Uh, and Waco being more centrally located in Texas, would be a good place if we're going to start having repeat uh, sessions. It would be a good place that uh, uh, is equally available. Good. Okay, I couldn't find my card. I wanted to call them and at least touch base with them on the phone and see if it's possible for us to get it. So Tom does have the, the card for them. We need to call them and maybe today we can give them a call just to see if it's possible to do it. And if it's possible, well, I was thinking of driving up there uh, Sunday to do it, but uh, I don't have a car to drive up there Sunday, so uh, 
uh, I won't won't be be driving up there, but because uh, I got two cars that I got to fix, neither one of them is road ready right now. Uh, yeah, I might be able to take you up there Sunday. Oh yeah. Okay. You mean after you leave your? After I leave my son's oh, house. Oh okay, and then 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 my wife won't have to drive up to meet me in my yeah. car that doesn't have any headlights. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. And that would be good if we both go out there and visit with yeah. them and, and, and try to make the arrangements. So we're looking at Waco. If we don't get Waco, Ed is also looking at Gonzales. Okay, Ed is looking at Gonzales. He's touching base with them to see if it might be available for the second Saturday of, of July. Uh, and, and we said we would coordinate to see where we're going to go, whether it's going to be there or, or, or Waco. And I was thinking of a third choice, uh, which I'm not hot to do, and that would be to have it in the Brazoria County area, okay? I don't want to ask people to be driving all the way down to Brazoria County. Uh, I'd rather have it more, more centrally located. And I'm still looking at a later date in, uh, in uh, I guess probably in the fourth quarter of having uh, as a speaker uh, the uh, health ranger Mike Adams come and speak uh, and I'm sure he'll have a lot of good stuff to say about Texas and independence because that's what he's fighting for too okay and he's got a pretty good audience if anybody here doesn't recognize the health ranger. He's reporting on all these things that they're doing to us with the environment, with water, and with pharmaceuticals. He's reporting all the the falsities that they keep putting out before the public. So he's got a good website. And in fact, they banned him from YouTube, so he started his own YouTube operation. I haven't been there yet, but that's that's a place that uh, uh, that's a guy that I think would be an important speaker for us, and we're going to have to have a good venue for him. Because, and I'm going to try to have it in the Austin. Uh, what's the name of it? Bastrop, Austin Bastrop area. Okay, because that's where Mike lives. Uh, where are we? Okay, well, I guess we're ready to go to the House resolution. Uh, can you get that up there, sir? Yeah. Oh, you did put that up. All right. Yes. It would... Uh, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea if, if we can get Mike to have some of our you know, exciting people like Desi or I don't know if we can get Anna Von Wright or, uh, but to have somebody he can meet and not just be the, the only dog on the, on the stage so he can see that we we're not just uh, kids that we're We've got others as well, and we're really serious about this. Yeah, if 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 I if I'm successful in getting Mike Adams to come and be a speaker, we want to have a good turnout for that thing, mm -hmm. and that would be a good one to have family members attend, right? Mm -hmm. Because he's got a lot of good information to share. Uh, okay, the next thing up is is uh, the House resolution. And I think David's getting ready to put that up there. Uh, this is for the third reading of it. And uh, you all have got that in your email package uh, to have a look at. I'm going to ask David to re read it again, if you would. Can you get him that microphone? Resolution number 47 dash. Hey, David. 
before you start, can you share that that you got on your screen? Can you share it? You can't, you can't go between them. It's up there right now. I know, but I want him to share it over the over the over the, over the oh, Zoom. I thought that's what he had it on. No, he he's going back and forth between Zoom and what he's showing up here. Okay. I don't know whether you can do that. I did. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Good. Go ahead, David. House Resolution number 47-02-06-2019 and Senate Resolution number 02-21-2019-01. Resolution to establish a Texian National Database and rules for disseminating contact information. Be it resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the Texas Republic and Congress assembled. A joint resolution proposed by the House of Representatives of the 23rd Congress of the Texas Republic. After the People's Congressional House of Representatives and Senate for the Texas Republic in a meeting of Congress assembled, the following resolution was approved and adopted. Senate Resolution number 02-21-2019-01 and like resolution originating from the House of Representatives number 47-02 dash zero six dash two zero one nine to be titled resolution to establish a Texian nationals database and the rules for disseminating contact information for use by government officials in ways which will not compromise Texian nationals privacy or security whereas the Secretary of State is the official delegated the responsibility to oversee elections and to maintain the records of documented Texans, so shall he have the authority to develop and maintain this Texian database and the forms for contacts to request the electorate contact information for the jurisdiction of the elected office sought. Whereas the Republic requires a database to pursue our goal to restore sovereignty to the Republic, this database shall be completed and up to date within 90 days following the date of final approval of this resolution. This database thereafter shall be maintained currently on a monthly basis. Therefore, the Senate and House of Representatives of the Texas Republic and Congress assembled hereby, hereby resolve, number one, to require the development of a database containing all documented Texans, including all of the following information. A, first name. B, last name. C, domicile address, USPS mail delivery, D, de facto state of Texas County, E, Texas Republic County, F, Texas Republic Senate District, G, email address as preferred by the registering party, H, phone number day, and I, phone number night. Number two, with database functions, A, filter by Senate district number, and B, filter by Texas Republic County. Number three, access limitations for database filtered information, A, Filtered data only available by written request using a form that requires sworn secrecy 
must be maintained to not sh share the information with anyone. B. Filtered data will only be provided to the requester for the jurisdiction of the office sought, i.e. Senate District or Texas Republic County. C. All requests for contact information by those seeking elected office shall first be reviewed and approved by Congress. D. The sole purpose of making this filtered data available is for conducting the business of informing Texas people of government actions, campaigning for elected office, solicitation of opinions relative to government actions, facilitating necessary common communications between elected officials and their electorate. E. The filtered data shall not be used to conduct private business. F. The candidates for office will be granted free access to campaign on the RT website. Space will be determined by the RT Technological and Public Relations Committee. Does anybody have a motion on this resolution? Representative Nickel. I have a few. I'll make a motion Thanks. to approve this. Um, motion is made by uh, Representative Nieto. Do I have a second? Uh, I wrote it. Can I second it? Oh, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Second by Representative <laughs> Um, any discussion? Yeah. Um, at the beginning it says Texas Republic. And then down at the bottom it uses RT. I think there's a lack of consistency there. I like Texas Republic. I don't like the, uh, pro, uh, the uh, preposition of. RT it? technology, right? What's that? You're right. Should be TR. That's what I was writing my notes. Even today, I put TR. I mean, most of us. Or you could just leave off, leave it off, and just the technology. Both and of them are in three F. Or in what? Three F. Those two RTs are in three F. Okay. Okay. Well, that's one for the, thing. And for then, the record keeper. And then the other, we stumbled on the. Uh, Item number one, uh, preposition left out there. Yes, all of. And then, and I think it was the third paragraph regarding the Secretary of State, there needs to be a comma. Uh, it's, it's above the numbered items. Right. Yeah, where is the Secretary of State? I, it seems to me that sh there should be a comma after document Texians. Uh, let's see how that. Where is the Secretary of State's official delegated the responsibility to oversee elections and maintain the records of documented Texans? Agreed. Uh, uh, whereas then comma so shall he have the authority to develop and maintain the Texian database and the forms for candidates to request the electric contact information for the jurisdiction of the elected office sought. Does, does that sound reasonable? Those are the only three things I noticed. What was the, the, otherwise, I thought it was really well done. But what was the item on number one? Uh, you said a preposition. Or yeah, right in the first three or two to four words, uh, he, he stumbled on it because it wasn't showing. He, he added it 
on the line as he was talking to us. Okay, to reject the he hasn't said that yet. He said that's number one, I think. And what is it that's in number one? Uh, yeah, David, if you. Go I'm trying to there. find it. It's oh, it's in number one. Number one is number one. yeah. The, yeah, the, there it is. Okay, all of the following documents. Does it, does it really need that? Missing, does it really need a... I, I don't know. I just, as I was listening to you, you added yourself. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, well, he must have just accidentally left it off, you know. Is that clear enough? Can you read that all right? A little clear. Actually, if you could zoom that up a little bit, Make it a little bit bigger. Magnify. Yeah. Magnify. <laughs> we, we use Zoom for other things. Yeah. <laughs> the world's so complicated. <laughs> That's wrong. What was it going to be? Uh, I think you used the word of. I can't remember. Yeah, the, the word of was missing from that. And that's where you stumbled on. Yeah, yeah. There we go. No, of doesn't, it's talking about all documented Texians, not all of documented Texians. I think it was of the, but I, I don't think it's necessary it better? to have it there. A little bigger? No, it's better. Is, is there not a Yeah, they just, we don't need that. Oh, no, there, it's further down, including all of the following information. It's, it's the next line down, all you of the You don't have oh. to have an of there, you can it's say including, including all the following information. But even the the software, you can see it's got a new line under it, so it's it's telling you grammatically. Well, that's because he has an extra space out. there. He yeah. took the extra space out. I don't think you'd see a line there. Let's try it and see. Let's try that, boy. There you go. Yeah, there you go. All right. So you're okay there. I'm happy now. You did a great job, David. I really like it. <laughs> really. Okay, now let's go down to number three. Yeah. This is He wants to change RT to Texas Republic. Yeah. TR, they probably get confused. Uh, RT is out of place when we're using Texas Republic. And later stuff we do, we might want to start using TR. I don't know. But we only have it in this one point F, so there's no... TR is too close to TR point. Yeah, okay. Let's okay. change that second one there. <coughs> I need to capitalize the public. I hit the button, it didn't. Happy? That looks pretty good to me. Okay, is there anybody opposed to these changes? We never had a motion. No, you had a motion. And a second. And he was he was making the recommendation to make the changes. That's why I asked you to ask him if there's any Should I post to it. Make a motion for Yeah, you, you need to make a motion uh, for the a motion that these changes be incorporated. Anybody second. anybody second? Representative Nieto, I'll second that motion. Okay. Okay. Okay, all those in favor? Signed by aye. 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 Also poll very online. Very online. So unanimous. Very okay. okay. Oh I, I didn't ask Barry, I'm not looking at it online. Come <laughs> oh, yell there. Can he hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motion to approve no, no. as modified. Okay. Now I thought we only oh, had a motion share. To okay. But now you just modified, so now you gotta ask for a motion okay. to approve it as modified. Do I have a motion to approve the resolution as modified? I, I approve the opposed. Second. Okay, I made a motion sure. and Tom Bailey seconded. Okay. 
might have to stop shaking a bit. There we go. Four weeks. Okay. So, any comments? Okay, we did that already. We're doing we're doing that. Yeah. No, oh. we got a vote on it. Oh. You ready? You gotta ask if there's any comments on that. And if there's not any comments, then we can vote. Any comments? to get done I thank you all for the persistence in getting it right now we've got to make sure that mr. Ford has the ammunition to go and take care of this okay he's got the help of the vice president so hopefully it'll all get taken care of yes sir The House has approved it, but the Senate has. The Senate not. has to. You're right. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. I guess I was so anxious to get that thing done because we've been working on it for so long. Uh, I mean, we've been out working on that for a couple of years, trying to get that done. Well, All right. It looks a lot better than the first round. Yes. There you go. Thanks, Thanks to Big Dave. <laughs> thank you. Charles. Charles would help quite a bit. Okay, great. Okay, the next uh, item up is House Bill number 48-04-10-2019 and Senate Bill number 04-25-2019-01. And this is issued for the third reading. It's a bill to grant a copyright. Be it resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the Texas Republic in Congress Assembly, a joint bill proposed by the House of Representatives and the Senate of the 23rd Congress of the Texas Republic. After the People's Congressional House of Representatives and Senate for the Texas Republic in a meeting of Congress assembled, the following bill was approved and adopted. Senate Bill Number 04 dash two five dash two zero one nine and slow down zero four dash dash two five dash two zero one nine dash zero one okay. oh that's not on that one is it and the light bill originating from the house of representatives number four eight dash zero four dash one zero dash two zero one nine by authority of the 1836 constitution for the republic of texas article two section three to establish post offices and post roads to grant charters of incorporation patents and copyrights and secure to the authors and inventors the exclusive use thereof for a limited time a bill to grant a copyright be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the Republic of Texas in Congress Assembly to grant a copyright which shall expire 20 years after the date of passage of this act for the document entitled the 2018 International Committee Report drafted October 13, 2018 by the Texas Republic's International Committee, a joint committee of the Senate and House of Representatives of the Republic of Texas and other members, which chronicles the relationship of the Republic of Texas to the international community. Do I have a motion to adopt this bill? Representative Nieto, I'll make that motion to adopt the bill as read. Nieto moves. Do I have a second? Representative Blackwell. 
Representative Blackwell. Second. Is there any discussion? Yes. Um, Tom Bailey from Missouri County. Uh, the use of the Republic of Texas, or Texas Republic, I see it's a capital T and tech, capital R there, but I saw in another place yeah, here where the R is in a lower case. And it was, it's not consistent. It's, uh, uh, it should be Texas Republic. Tell me where to go. Uh, wherever you, you can search and, and replace uh, if you want. Uh, any place where you have. Yeah, that's above my pay grade. Okay. Just keep going down to where you like that for any Texas the, there. The yeah, there it is, right there. The middle right there. Change that representative of the Texas Republic, not Republic of Texas. Where are you at? Right in the middle of the last period. He's fixing it right now. I want to fix it on mine. <laughs> I am saving this, it'll be saved to the stick. Okay. You got the same thing in line one. Oh, it says the same do that. in line one too. Yeah, so okay, you now change where? Line first one. Part, where it says by the authority of, of the Not the line one originally, line one of that paragraph, right there after 1836. By the authority, oh, yeah, there we go. And also in the last one. And then it would be in the, yeah, the joint time. committee of the Senate and House. Yeah, third from the bottom line, and that needs addressed or changed as well. Right, okay, right here. Oh, Texas Republic's International. Yeah, well, then go down yeah. the third to the bottom line. There's another Republican right under that. Under your, yeah, right ah, there. right here, right here. Mm -hmm. And also in the next line. <laughs> I'm a secretary. <laughs> You're doing great, dude. We don't get we don't have a lot of good help around. Here. Okay. Did I see anything else? You, you got the first line? There were four instances in this one paragraph. I think they were the all Texas Republic here. They were all corrected, I believe. Texas Republic, the Texas Republic, the Texas Five. There's five, weren't there? There's five in that. Yeah, but we didn't have to correct the one with the uh, possessive. Okay. There's At one time. Was there. We good? It's good to me. I don't know that the international community needs to be capitalized. Uh, Tom, you're probably right. Yeah. Um, Agree. That's not. A, that's not an organization, is it? International community. That's not a, a named the, organization. The international community uh, community does not need to be capped. Right. Lower case. And they're at the very end. The committee. That might, does. that might all be capitalized, but the community right. room, we don't have uh, a formal uh, com community. Uppercase International? No. Nope. Yeah, no, the International Committee, yeah. yes. That's on the committee, you did find capitalized, but not on the community. The way you have it right now is right. And yeah, you're looking good. Period. I'm lowercase on international. That's right. Period after community. Yeah, lowercase because it's it's modifying. Period after community. Yeah. yeah. International is lowercase because it modifies community, and community is not a a set organization, uh, and therefore both international and community require a lowercase. Let's look for more right, right above here. Same thing. 
No, no, no. The, no, the no, committee will that's be. The that one is the committee. Oh, okay. that's, that's not. The committee is a name. That's not the, okay. Okay. The catch all. That's a specific uh, uh, unit. With a, with that being its name, <clears throat> therefore it needs capitalization. <coughs> Any other comments? Should authority here be cap? First line on them. No. 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 No, I, I, I don't. Unless I'm missing something, I don't think it needs it. We'll make a motion to make uh, to uh, approve these changes. I'll make a motion that we approve these changes. Seconded. I'll second it. Okay. Representative Sparks. David seconded. David. Okay. okay. Got to get that arm up. Get a little exercise. Yeah. We're doing these. That uh, jump to the system. Without that, your lymph system doesn't work. <laughs> save this. So Bruce doesn't have to save it. Again. And this is the third reading. Yep. So this okay. is the third reading of it. Okay. And so. I'm kind of glad I made it up here today. <laughs> yeah, it's good. touch and go. I know, it's, it's good to have you. were supposed to help me on this. <laughs> <laughs> They're just fine points, but you this, Those are just fine points. We know what we're talking about. But we will have people from the international community looking over our product. Yeah, and, a bunch of red and, and, and we could easily be labeled a bunch of hillbillies uh, by certain forces that don't want us to be recognized or paid attention to. So the more we do it upright, the better we will be. I'm right involved in this, like you, uh, with, with my project I'm on. We're putting a web page together. And the same issues that you just brought up were what we just covered Wednesday about the uh, cell phone, you know, that I had it's got to fit right there. And also, if we have a new company that we're about to introduce a new product for, we're going to have a lot of detractors because we're going to be giving some people some real grief with, with our the introduction of our material. We do not want to have any hook out there for them to grab and say that we're not one professional, that we're not technically correct, that we're just one after another. You gotta you gotta think about your different audiences. And the same applies here. We've got to think about our different audiences, the corporate state of Texas, the corporate United States. The international countries, we've got to, when we read back over these things, we've got to look at it, and we're doing this with my corporate website too. We're going to put on different eyes and review the stuff we've been putting together to make sure that, you know, there's nothing hanging loose. And then we need to do the same here. Then counterpoint on the well, other side, have you read the record of the first nine sessions of Congress? Oh, Bruce, he had just joined. He had. Okay. Yeah, oh, I, just, I just, yeah, I just hang in there best I can. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. If, if you can put it in front of me right now, I'll do it. But <clears throat> I mean, I had trouble coming on the Wednesday calls, but uh, anyway, we'll we'll get through somehow, some way. Well, I'll just tell you all what I know about, about Tom and that, that project that he's working on is they just had a professor of English sit down with them to tell them how to do some things. So he's getting educated even further in, in the use of the English language, but I'm not going to allow him to speak again. <laughs> but she needs to be educated with respect to what our goals and objectives are. It's a give and take, and she's very helpful. That's true. Good. Okay, we're ready to. Okay. Any any other comment or discussion? 
Did we approve, on this bill? Did we approve these changes? Oh, we, yeah, we have to vote. Yes. Um, those who are, those who approve vote by saying aye to the changes. Aye. 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 Paul Barry. Paul Barry. How's Barry going? Barry, do you vote on this? I can't unmute him. He's probably trying to unmute him. Yes, great. <laughs> okay. No good, Barry. That, that's unanimous. Okay. Unanimous. And that was a motion by Bailey, was it? Yes. yes. And a second, second, second by Bailey. Second by Spark. <coughs> now we've got to find, do the final motion vote on it. Oh, yeah, that was just for the amended version. Yeah. Right. Okay. So all of those who approve of the amended version respond by saying aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Barry? Aye. Aye. Very good. Very good. That's unanimous. For the... For the for the Senate, I mean for the House of Representatives. A, a point of order here to, uh, I don't think we need to go back and correct this, but when we had the motion to approve the amendment that was proposed, and we had a second to that, and we voted on that, then you're supposed to ask for a motion to approve the amended version as the final version of it for the third reading. And get that get that motion, get a second it, and then you vote again. That's what we That's did what we on that did. first one. Huh? We did that on the first one. I don't think we did that here. No, I was thinking something's yeah. not right. quite right. That's, right. right. That's what we just that's the vote we just did. Yeah. I know, but you didn't get the motion for it. We already had a motion. No, that motion was approved and voted on. That motion was to amend it. And oh, we voted okay. on it, okay? Gotcha. Yeah. You know, okay. easy. I, did, I, I, I don't want to go back and correct it. No, I just no, want I, to make sure that we understood what, what we did. It's recorded. We know what we did. Okay, uh, at the last session, and again, that was only for the House who voted on that, not the Senate, okay? So it's still got to be approved by the Senate. Uh, uh, at the last session, we decided to, to table the primary goals and missions of the Republic of Texas until it could be put into proper uh, order as a resolution. And so that's been done, and here we're going to be reading the second reading of, of that resolution, okay? The primary goals and mission of the Republic of Texas, be it resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the Republic of Texas in Congress assembled, a joint resolution proposed by the House of the 23rd Congress of the Republic of Texas. After the People's Congressional House of Representatives and Senate for the Republic of Texas in a meeting of Congress assembled, the following resolution was approved and adopted. House Resolution Number 49-04-13-2019, originating from the House of Representatives, and like resolution by the Senate, Number 05-04-2019-01. To be titled, a resolution to announce the primary goals and mission of the Texas Republic. For presentation to the Texas general public, the goals and missions of the government of the 
of the Texas Republic. I wanted to say Republic of Texas without reading it. Because communication and education of the people of Texas is so very crucial to restoring a free constitutional republic, considering that most people have been indoctrinated, misinformed, and misguided by the occupying government, their controlled schools, and their media, and because the true history of Texas and its relationship with the corporate governments of the state of Texas and the United States has never been taught to the, in the public school system, and because this republic can no longer afford to let our purpose go unannounced to the general Texas public. Therefore, the House of Representatives and the Senate of the Republic of Texas in Congress assembled hereby resolve to promulgate the primary goals and mission of the Texas Republic. Well, you got the Texas Republic right at the very end, finally. <laughs> I was doing this late at night. Right, well, you're doing uh, great. Well, I change it right here where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. Promote recognition of the lawful status of Texas as an independent nation. Educate the people of Texas about their loss of freedom due to the actions of the corporate, federal, and state governments. Restore the people, restore to the people the ability to live their lives free of government intervention. Bring the people of Texas together into a constitutional convention to form a proper lawful government for the purpose of protecting individual rights, property rights, and the defense of the country. Return to the common law, freedom, and self-responsibility. Reduce crime through the swift justice of common law courts. Return control of education to the local level. Return control of government to the local level. Remove the burden of taxation from the people. Restore the freedom of religious expression at school, at work, and in public. Return Texas to a lawful money system, gold, silver, and other specie, and eliminate the current debt money. <coughs> Promote for all Texian American nationals equal access to the world of for business purposes through lawful treaties with other countries. Do I have a motion to approve? Resolution. This is a resolution. This is the second okay. reading. Mike wants to make the motion. Mike? Motion to approve. I second it. Okay. Blackwell. Okay. Okay, any discussion? Yes. I got the mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go first, boy. Okay, right here. We've got State of Texas, all caps, and United States. Is that correct? Do we yes. make that lowercase? Yes. No. Of no, our no, no, at no. Them? Those are the no. corporate entities. That's, that's my point. Yeah. Yes. That's all going to be lowercase. For no. Them. no. 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 It's got to be uppercase. All uppercase. Because it's an entity. Of the corporate oh, entity. as well? Here, here, here. State of? Wait a minute. No. Okay, let me explain to you what, what that means, okay? That's called style. Okay, yeah. when you look at, at, at the use of language in legislation, what it is is style. And the all caps spelling means that it's a corporation. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's, let's. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, um, he's got the mic. Okay. Uh, with, again, I'd like to point out on the uh, part of the. One of the goals where it talks about the removing the burden of taxation. I once again would like to reiterate that 
that needs to be better defined because as, as a government and per the Constitution, I have the authority to tax. And so that needs to be a better definement of what, it, what, what we're saying. And uh, I think there was one more thing. No, yeah, that's it for now. I would just like to have that better defined as, as, as what we mean by the burden of taxation. Which one was that? I don't think it, it doesn't have a number. <laughs> Fourth from the bottom. Fourth from the bottom. Okay, I would I understand these to be. Is this is for the national government's goals? Okay. The, the burden of taxation falls upon the counties and municipalities that they want to uh, have taxation. It's up to them to do it. What they're saying is the federal or the, the national government of the Republic of Texas or the Texas Republic shall not have the ability to tax the people. That's what I understand it to mean. Maybe it does, does have to be clarified. National government can't tax. Is that what you're looking for, Frankie? Or yeah, like I said, just some kind of clarification. But I'm pretty sure the Dave. Constitution says the national government can Dave. tax you. It's it's under the Congress's authority to levy a tax, whether it be on imports or exports or, God forbid, your property. But this is talking about on the people, direct tax on the people. Right. Okay. Whereas uh, import and export duties is not a direct tax. That's How is an that indirect not a tax. Direct tax. Because it's not on the people, it's on the goods that are coming in or going out. That's an indirect tax. All right? So <laughs> should we should we add the word direct tax? All okay. Yeah, because I think it's the title of the, the resolution. Well, there's some mistakes in there, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to correct it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm calling on the English professor here. <laughs> I'm a chemist. I, I have some things to, to go through. I had some issues I wanted to bring up. You want to go ahead? <laughs> um, well, first of all, if you read the uh, act in 1845 where the laws of the United States are extended over the state of Texas. It says state of Texas. But if you read in Texas statutes, current Texas statutes in the Constitution or the so-called Constitution, which are really edicts under martial law, it says that the Texas, the seal, is supposed to say the state of Texas. So there's two separate entities. So the, the state of Texas is the corporate state of Texas, right? Um, yeah, I would say so. That's the corporate seal, right? That's what is supposed to be on the seal for uh, that the Secretary of State is supposed to have. Is, is supposed to be the state of Texas. And I noticed that in Brazoria County Court, that they've got that, that emblem up there. And it's in all caps, the state of Texas. Right, okay. right. Now, the United States is similar. In the Articles of Confederation, it says specifically that this confederacy is styled, quote unquote, the United States of America. And, but yet, if you look in the um, Definitive Treaty of Peace of 1783, it says that King George was arch treasurer and prince elector of quote unquote United States of America. And if you look in the US passports today, that is, it just says United States of America, <coughs> not, not the United States of America. That's, that, that one United States of America is the corporation. The, the United States of America is a trust. And so there's two separate entities again. So we need to differentiate, I would say. It's up to you. I'm, I'm the Senate, so I'm not voting on this thing today. 
but that's but you're going to have the opportunity to vote. yeah mm -hmm. and, and, if, uh, and if you think it ought to be changed you ought to bring it up today and rather than wait until you guys go through the, yeah. the senate yep let's, let's now go, let's go down the line now in our corporate seal if you look in the republic of texas corporate seal it just says republic of texas doesn't say the republic of texas it just says republic of texas <coughs> All so, capitalized or not all capitalized? Well, if you look at the corporate seal, I, 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 it's, sometimes it does say it all capitalized, I believe. I, I don't know off the top of my head. But um, uh, again, uh, so what we've got there is correct in my opinion. But um, so that's a trust is what it is. See, the, the, there's the original constitution, the articles of confederation are trust indentures. Okay, you've got to look at them that way. Whereas in 1871, the United States passed an act that was a corporate charter. So there's two separate entities. We have to understand that. And which one are you dealing with? Anyways. The V goes with the trust or the... Yeah, it's the... For the United States, yeah. the United States of America is the trust. Whereas... Um, just the United States of America is a foreign bankrupt corporation that's owned by the Roman cult. Now, for Texas, um, state of Texas would be considered, of course, I don't know, uh, that's, when, that's when everybody from the Republic of Texas perjured their oath and walked across the street and started state of Texas. You see what I'm saying? But, um, um, Matter of fact, I need to, let me look. Because there's that Dunham Bradstreet thing that, uh, that uh, Daniel Swank did too. So let me look, I got it here. They do this kind of stuff all the time. Um, I can't tell you how many times I see fake indictments. People that are in jail based on a fake indictment. So I have a question. Are you still? Oh. <laughs> Dunham Bradstreet, we'll look at that right now and see what it says. Okay, well there's Judiciary Courts of the State of Texas in all block capital letters. It's a subsidiary of Texas State of, so there's no D. It's all block capital letters too. And that says started in 1845. That's under... Uh, um, uh, Dunham Bradstreet, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, filing that Daniel Lee Swank filed, remember? Uh, well, let me, let me get some clarification here. You said that was in 1845 that they say that was the in all caps state of Texas? Well, I don't think that the all caps state of Texas existed in 1845. Well, if you read, again, that goes to the statute that Congress, the U.S. Congress passed in 1845, and I can pull that up too, that says that, um, that, that the laws of the United States are extended over the state of Texas. Well, V is not capitalized, and the state of Texas is. But it's not all block capital letters, it's upper and lower case. Upper and lower case. Right. And but, so I would, I would take that to be uh, their naming of the state of Texas as opposed to the Texas state, right? That's, that's the United States 
understanding of that new state as the state of Texas being upper and lower case. Yeah, that would be a, a, a de jure entity, yeah. upper and lower case, without the in front of it. Right. And the corporation has has the, and that's the C. But it's but it's in capital T. Yeah. Oh, well, it's and that's all block capital. It's all in, block in the corporate seal. Yes. But so there's there's differences, and we need to be aware of the differences. Well, we need to we need to have a good understanding of what the different styles are and what they mean. Okay. Well, and, and the styles, certainly. Um, but in this affidavit by Daniel E. Swank, it says Liberty County, State of Texas, which is, to me, that's the um, de jure entity, whereas the corporation is the State of Texas, but it's with the United States, it's the opposite. Okay, so under the Articles of Confederation, is the United States of America. And then the foreign bankrupt entity that's owned by the Roman cult is just called United States of America. And that's what's on, if you look in a U.S. passport, it's just United States of America. Uh, see, for, for example, when I go get something notarized by a de jure, de jure uh, uh, notary, is it says on it, County of Brazoria, State of Texas. And when I when I when I type these out and print them to go get get them notarized, it says on there, Brazoria County, Texas State is the way I put it on there. And they go ahead and and they notarize it that way. So, uh, well, in Texas State is is the people. Okay, that's not a corporation, that's not a trust, that's just the people that make up the body right. of the body politic. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Um, and we got to think about how we want to do the style and whether it's going to be the state of Texas or just state of Texas. Um, I would say since under Texas statutes, it, there's the seal is the state of Texas. If you look it up in the Texas statutes, I could show you right now in the Constitution. I was looking that up. Uh, it's, that's part of my lawsuit that I'm doing right now. We have that emblem on some of the older resolutions and, and, and bills that we passed. I, I noticed that, uh, I think on the, on the one that established the Technology Committee, I think it's there on that one. So, again, my question then would be, what do we have to change on here? And can we have discussion about whatever, as we go down through that, whether it be one place you see the House of Representatives with the uppercase first letter, and then further down you'll see that it's lower case all the way through. So it's changing. I'm, I'm in the process of changing. I was going to say, let's go down line by line and see if anything's got to be changed. How's that? Also, you you capitalize the Republic of Texas, but we need to do, as we did in the last one, change it to Texas Republic. Drop the of and inverse, invert the. Where, where, where are you? Here? No. Uh, the the big big title. The big title. Big title. Big right there, there you go. What about this? Well, that says Texas Republic. All caps? The very bottom. No, not the, all caps. The no, very, definitely very not all three caps. words on the, on the slide there. It says Republic of Texas. We were converting that to Texas Republic. Just put the Texas in front of Republic. Yeah. Texas Republic. No, no. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, he's right. Yeah. yeah, there too. Yeah, you're right. But there at the bottom, a joint resolution. We're going to go down line by line. Oh, yeah, I'll get it. The quickest way to get this done is to go down line by line and see if there's any comments on it. Okay. Okay. And here again. Now, I've seen places where they spell Senate with the lowercase s. And 
the right House of Representatives is uppercase H and lowercase R for representatives. I don't know what's right. I would think, uh, I've always tried to make it a capital S and a capital I think, H and a capital I think R. consistency is what yeah. you're looking for. We've done it so far. Yep. That good. Third line in the third sentence. Uh, you have a specific Congress you're noting there. Twenty third well, we, we Congress. Haven't, we haven't got that for you. Well, no, well, he's up there, right there. The twenty third Congress is, I think, what you're referring yeah, to. Yeah, I think. Oh. My feeling is that. 20, the third Congress. Should All be those should be capitalized first letter. Because it's a specific name okay. for that specific back, back entity. Down. I'm not one. seeing it. Go back down one line. No. Up the other way. Right there. 23rd. Yeah, 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 capital T, capital T, and capital C. We may have to go over the whole Constitution eventually. <laughs> Okay. Question: Shouldn't uh, shouldn't that on that same sentence, House of Representatives, rather than just House? To be more correct, probably so. Yeah, it would not. Our Congress be. replace House with Congress. Well, we're saying the House in the Congress, so. I mean, it's yeah, basically. just just to not have any loose ends. Yeah, Put it in. It would be good to have yeah. Congress instead of House. No, 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 the House of Representatives yes. Congress rather than of the 23rd Congress. House of Representatives. What about the Represent Senate? House of Representatives. Resolution. Right. Yeah. By the House of Representatives. Presented by. Pre presented by. Proposed by. The original proposer of it was the House. Yep, that's right. Butchered that. Wow! You got some damn slaves in there somewhere. <laughs> S -E, e. Change that T to an E. Represent. Put an E between the S and the T, an E and an N. E N T. E N T. N T. A T. I V E S. There you go. Okay. No, uh, no, that's no. not right. It's got to be a TA after Oh, there's a TA missing in there. Yeah. Represent. Add, add an AT after T. 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 A. There you go. AT. Yeah. Yep, right there. Damn. Mind your tutties. You know? Okay. Uh, should I have a, a comma right here? No. Okay. Talk to him. Um, I think that Congress should be capitalized too. Yeah. And Congress assembled, that needs to be capitalized. I've been thinking that too. Yeah. Well, we need to back up from that and change Republic of Texas to Texas Republic. Yeah. Same way. Oh, yeah. Oh, I went right by that. Yep. <laughs> well, we're making sausage again. Yeah. By the way, as a side note, I'm reading the act right here, the, uh, section one of the act to extend the laws of the United States over the state of Texas. State of Texas is an upper <coughs> lower case. It says here, that Texas, state of Texas, admitted at the present session of Congress into the Confederacy and Union, mm -hmm. two separate entities. So should we add that? The Confederacy being? Articles of Confederation, right? right. 1845. Anyways. And the Union of States. Under, under the yeah. Constitution. Those are two separate entities. 
Next line. Last line on the page. That's good. Next line. It says Homer. Question is, does the senator commit to land, right? Well, it wasn't what you that In the mission of the, should the D be capitalized? That's the I guess it's the title of the bill, right? So it should be. That's what I just questioned well, him on a minute ago. As, as I looked at Frankie, what I looked at him, it says, okay, this is a resolution, which is not part of the name of it. Announce the primary goals and missions of the Texas Republic. Okay. And I wanted that to all be capped, but I didn't want Texas Republic to be all caps. All right? Okay. Yeah. Should or should not? Should not. Well, it's Talk to, me. to be titled when you, <laughs> you put things in a title format, you generally have main major words starting with a capital letter, like chapters of a book or, or whatever. Should to be capital? To be titled. Code. The, the TV. Uh, What's that? After the T and two. No, that be capitalized as well. The T after resolution. Oh, no. Okay. Um, okay. You've got and that down there, all capital words. Right or wrong? Well, that part of the, the title. You're making the title all caps. Yeah, but if you're making the title all caps, then all of that from A to the should be capitalized in Texas Republic. No. Because you're saying it's to be titled. <coughs> and if that's going to be good title, a resolution to announce the primary goals and mission, then all the one that should be capitalized is personal. I agree with the nice things, in other words. You didn't have a choice. What if, what if I put, what if I put things, quotations and mar marks and beginning it as well as an A and announce it. Ending after C and Republic. Okay, then you need to get rid of the capital R and resolution. Yeah, I Yeah. How about if I do that? Say that again. Put quotation marks around, announce the primary goals and mission of the Texas Republic. Take a resolution to out of that and put. Yeah, okay. And then right here, I'm going to put them again. No, you put it after no, Republic. No, no, they're after Republic. After Republic. And quotation okay. mark comes after the comma. Yeah. After the comma. After, after the, the comma. comma. Now, I'm not sure what's being titled here. Is it going to be the title of a section being a resolution to announce? Or is the title going to be Announce the primary goals. Yeah, you can get rid of the A and resolution. Quotation. The quotation is what it was saying is the title of it. That section, what title of what? Is that a section of? Of this resolution. That's the title of this resolution. Okay. Okay, gotcha. All right. We good so far? Yep. Yeah. Reading that, I have a question about either that or somewhere else because there's another place where you have people capitalized and people's not capitalized there. So should it be not capitalized there or not capitalized in the other place? I believe, I believe it should probably be capitalized in both places. Do you know how to tell the difference between people and person? What's the plural of person? If the plural of person is the people, it's not. No, it, is, person. no, it can be because can person be. can be used both ways. Yeah. And the distinction between person as a corporate entity and person as a as a private individual is when you pluralize it. And if you say it's persons, 
then it is a corporate entity. If you say it's people, then it is a people. American national. Okay? That's what I understand it is. <coughs> Moving on? No. Misinformed is one word. Yeah. I looked it up. Just like misguided. Comma after schools. I thought the part before end doesn't get a comma. And and I would call it instead of occupying government, I would call it the occupying power. Yeah. Because that's how it's called in the um, the Geneva Convention. Yeah, I agree. Do you all agree to that? Yes. yes. Okay, I can buy into that certainly. Okay. Power. That's better. Cap? That's better. Yeah. Much better. Cap? Because no, they, no, they, lower case. Are it's they not. really a government? Huh? They are just, they really a no. government? They just have to be the same. For an administrative Everybody thinks they are. Yeah. The most in the the they just have the biggest stick. That's all it is. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a very important point to make. Right? Yes, it is. It is. Shouldn't it just like take out the because and just be communication and education? Because of well, I don't no, know. We're trying to reason. remember in school, like you're not supposed to start with the preposition and all that stuff. But in writing legislation, you do yeah, that. Okay. You put because you're trying to say, well, why do I want to do this? Because communication, etc. Shouldn't it should be a whereas then? Yeah, whereas I like whereas. Well, sure. yeah. I had the problem uh, in the last <laughs> session. Therefore, that we had <laughs> where well, we changed. Therefore. We changed the way we had been doing things all the time, and y'all voted for it. Yeah. To change, moving those therefores and switching them with whereases. And I said, this is wrong, but I'm not going to fight it because you people are all voting for it, okay? And I got tired of fighting that thing because there was one member of this Congress that kept pushing to make that change. And I went back and I looked at all the stuff that had been passed in the past. And, and, a, and the primary example that I looked at was the one that was written for establishing the Technology Committee. And the way David put that together was following that as, as, the, as the template, all right? And so we changed that around. And I said, I'm not in favor of this damn thing, but y'all voted for it, and y'all accepted it, and we did it again today, okay? So uh, we're going to be discussing it in the Congress. We're not going to change. Uh, well, I'm hoping the Congress decide, the House decides that, no, we're not going to change Okay. Well, I believe the last time, we, the reason we changed this is because grammatically it made more sense. It was, well, it was the proper way to be formatted. I understand that's how we've been doing things, but just because you've been doing things one way doesn't mean it's the but only if, way. But Frankie, if you go back and read that now, you're telling the, you're telling the, the, the Secretary of State that he must do this before you go through and tell him what he's going to do. And I think that's supposed to be after you've told him what all has got to be done. Therefore, you, the Secretary of State, must do this based on that. And, and we moved that above all of that. So. Okay. Yeah. On that sentence, starting with because, to me, that's just the introduction of a dependent clause. It could be whereas, it could be because, doesn't it? No, that's the reason that mm -hmm. we uh, made this resolution. Yeah, it's uh, but you do not have a complete sentence there. You have two dependent clauses. That comma should be and. Because communication, education of the people of Texas, and should that be Texian people instead of people of Texas, I don't know, is so very crucial to restoring a free constitutional republic and, drop the comma, and considering that most people have been indoctrinated, misinformed, and misguided by the occupying power, their controlled schools, and their media, uh, 
Okay. And then you're going to go down to another aim. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then does that need to be in that same grouping then, the next and? Because you already have an and considering. Because that's all. Uh, The same genre of, of, yeah, but of because, issues there. But because is introducing uh, a, a noun. Well, would you rather it be whereas? Considering and because don't go together. Uh, you're considering, you, you have a that there, whereas because you don't have a, another clause like that inside of it, you need to be parallel and consistent. Roll it down a little bit further so we can see that. So hand. you can see the next one, okay. Yeah. Okay, dude. I, I see what you're trying to do now that I can okay. see the bottom part. Uh, look, go down a little bit further yet because you have something else there. Okay, then you have the therefore. Okay. Uh, you can say because communication and education of the people of Texas or the Texian people is so very crucial to restoring a free and constitutional republic. And I don't know if you need a comment for free either. But it's a, it is a free constitutional republic, not a free republic and a constitutional republic separately. So you, I think you could drop the comma after free. Okay, because... After free. Yeah, after free. Okay, because communication. And then at the comma. And I after mission form? And I would say after the comma of Republic. What about the, what about this one here after mission form? Uh, no, I to go to stick with the right after Republic for the moment. Uh, I would say I would I would Oh down. Where you have the word considering. Very late from the top. Oh, okay. Very late from the top. Okay, right here. I would put, After Republic. Because of this, I would put, I'd leave the comma there and write the word in I N after the comma. Yeah. No. Lower case, yeah. In consideration of uh, in consideration that, okay, at least you, you, you have a parallel because communication and education, uh, and put a space after that comma following. Yeah, public. okay, because communication and education of the people of Texas are very crucial to restoring the free constitutional republic, and in consider, uh, can. Well, I see what you were doing, considering. Oh, I'm just trying to make it a clear, very clear sentence. Okay, you can do it this way. Go back to considering. And get rid of the end. Get rid of the end? Yeah. And drop the that. Would you have a comma after considering that if you drop that? No. David, I got a suggestion for you on the next one. Okay. Do, this is the third one, though, isn't it? I was going to say, right, click right. on the, to, to do uh, uh, track changes. This way you can go and change anything you want on there. And then if you decide, no, I don't want that, you can simply click them off of there. And, and then this way you've got an accurate record of what you're changing on there. And you save it as the... As the, as the uh, edited version with track changes. 
This way it's easy to see what, what you've changed on that thing. Also, you have two nouns, communication and education. You should have a plural for those two nouns. Because communication and education of the people are, not is. Put an S after the communication? No. Is that what you're saying? Where is the after the after people of Texas put an A-R-E instead of an is. No. Okay. Because you have two nouns, because communication and education are so very important. They're restoring a free constitutional republic. And I would drop the comma after Republic and just continue the sentence saying, considering those people to be indoctrinated, misinformed, and misguided by the occupying power that controlled schools and their media. So drop have been and replace it with to be. Drop that comma, considering most people to, be. to, to have, to, to have, to have been indoctrinated. Okay, let's see. Why do you need the two in Just a second. Because we need to so very crucial. Considering most people to, uh, I think that's I would drop have been and put a R in there. Yeah. Yeah, R. Considering most people are indoctrinated. Yeah. Who says a committee can't do anything, you know? Yeah. Well, you're going all the way down? You well, to continue yeah, down? Yeah. 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 Everything on that page was good. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Oh, because that line was good. That all right. line was. Okay. <laughs> all right, so now what? Good try, now, now, good you try that, now you want that bottom sentence. Keep going down past the part we've already done. Okay, and because. Those are three things all together because, and because, and because. And then the second one is because the true history of Texas and its relationship with the corporate governments has relationship, has never been taught in the public school system. You want to change governments to powers? Yeah, I like I like powers. Should say corporate powers though, or occupying powers again. It's an occupying power. You could put both. You could say uh, corporate governments or powers. Of how about how about the as, as Frankie was suggesting, with the occupying powers of the state of Texas and the United States. Well, we just said that right power. above that. See, we, we've got a, there's such a devious system here. They have elected representatives and they have elected senates as well. So they could legitimately say, well, we're a government, but they are still an occupying power as well. Yeah, That's why I would, I would put both governments. Corporations have people that are elected? Yeah. You elect your That's board of corporations. And, and, um, so what I would, you might want to consider is a relationship with the occupying power of the corporations called 
state of Texas and the United States could do that, or um, or with the corporate occupying power. I like corporate op occupying power. That's what I was just thinking of as you said. Yeah. Corporate Nevertheless, power. I, 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 go, I go for that, but I'm also thinking of the audience. You're slash, talking to the man on the slash street. Slash government. Yes, that's what I'm saying, slash government. Yeah, but you know, I wouldn't call it a government. Cause yeah, because it legitimizes it. Or, or yeah, you could put right. in parentheses, yeah, yeah, so-called government. Well, but that's that's kind of derogatory. That in resolution. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to put that in. Yeah. I, I, I like the corporate occupying powers. Instead of government. Instead of government. Because we're saying those corporate occupying powers of the state of Texas and the United States. Yeah, they, they can figure out that's, yeah. that's what they think is government right now. Right. I think, I think. Actually, well, we're actually, it is. actually, what I would put something to think about is the corporate occupying power of United States and its subsidiary, State of Texas. Oh, I like that. And all capital for Texas, yeah. State yeah. of Texas. Yeah. And I think Lynn's got it. Uh, and switch, switch United States with uh, the State of Texas. Because the United States is really the one that's occupying. And state of Texas is a subsidiary. Subsidiary, and it's subsidiary. Yeah. The state of Texas. Good, good. Well, that's done. making it. That's making it pretty clear, isn't it? Well, that's yeah. the whole thing. It's yeah. it, they've so screwed us around that we have to be extremely clear in what we say, and that that was masterful. To me. So, and because of the true history of Texas in relationship with the corporate occupying powers of the United States, uh, states and, and its subsidiary, its, its subsidiary, and, and its subsidiary, go back, uh, erase the, erase or, the, or, or go before the, the and say, and its subsidiaries. Comma, the state of Texas, comma. And its subsidiary. Here we have and. Its, its subsidiary. Spell. S-I-D-I-A-R-Y. I-A-R-Y. I. I-A-R-Y. And take out the D. No, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Comma, comma, the state of Texas, comma. Space. Space. There you go. The state of Texas, comma. Yeah, gotta have a comma after state of Texas. It sets off the subsidiary. And it has has never been. It needs. Should it be has or had? It needs in the part. It it's has. It's a, you have one. No, you have two subjects. No. We have. Like you have the had. history and you have the relationship. Those are your two subjects. Its needs and apostrophe. So it should be have. And because the true history. No, it wouldn't need an apostrophe. And when it's, it's an apostrophe, it it's supposed to be it is. And no, right. that's it, not. It's, it, with an apostrophe, is possessive. It's possessive. Oh. It, it with an apostrophe, yes, is a uh, condensed okay. form. It okay. is. Okay. That's but the Sorry. possessive is all three letters without an apostrophe. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. And then, okay, and because the true history of Texas and its relationship with the corporate occupying powers of the United States and its subsidiary, the state of Texas, have never been taught the history or the relationship. Have never been taught. So change has to have. Yeah. Had H A D? No, have. D E E. And uh, uh, well, also. Take out the has. Drop the has. Also, announced to the people of Texas, not to the general Texas public. That could be considered to be corporate slaves. So, announced to the people of Texas. Where are you at? down in the next paragraph at the bottom. And because this republic can no longer afford to allow our purpose go unannounced, 
to the people of Texas. Yeah, yeah. Unannounced, change it to No, you're all right. But wait a minute, you wanted to add something else in there for never been taught what? In the public the schools. The history, you said the history and You what? have two subjects, history that's, yeah, that's and relation. The of the that's why you have a plural verb. That's what you have had instead of has. Your two okay. subjects are history and relationship. And because this republic can no longer afford to allow our purpose to its go. purpose. We're two between purpose and go. Yeah. You're, you're talking first person, whereas you've been talking third person all the time. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah, you're right. It's its purpose. Go unannounced to, to the people of Texas. Yeah, people, people of Texas. Texas. Great. And after purpose, put to go. After purpose, put to, to go. go. Or to go. No. And you said not to, not, not <laughs> to go. I just want to see if y'all's paying attention. We're awake. We're awake. Uh, did you say uh, unannounced to the Texas to the public? People or did you Texas. say you want to make that the people of Texas? Instead of general Texas public. Change it. To Drop the general Texas public. And Glenn was saying, and I think he's perfectly correct. To the people of Texas. The people of Texas. Type in in its place there, the people of Texas. Now, should people yeah, be capitalized? Be capitalized. Leave the semicolon? Yeah, you're still yeah. semicolon. Yeah. Okay. If people, that's a verb. People should be capitalized. <laughs> we capitalize it up above? Yeah, the first yeah we did. Four. In the first paragraph. Yeah, people, you need, yeah. You need to capitalize well, I think people. probably you should make that a capital. To be yeah. consistent. People. Yeah. People. Okay. Yeah. 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 If we've done it once, yeah. Let's do it again. Yeah. There you go. Well, you see, the capital P people is the sovereign people. Yeah. All right? The lowercase p people are not necessarily sovereigns. Right. Now, therefore needs a comma after it. Therefore. We, we could always put down we the people of Texas. Yep. To we the people to go unannounced to we the people to us the people I think the yeah. people of Texas I like just the people of Texas yeah, yeah. 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 I mean it's done all the time and, uh, uh, it's it's been done to we the people but it should be us the people <laughs> okay the last one therefore comma I probably got to capitalize the city Texas. in Congress the Texas Republic in Congress. Yeah. And I think we've got to remember to do that every time we write this kind of legislation. Yeah, yeah. Capitalize that city. We need to hold on to these three that we've spent so much time <laughs> and say, all right, let's go look at the ones we worked so we're, we're going to give you one that uses a template. Right, right. These right. are the uh, models, yeah. Let's see where we've screwed up, right. We're good here? Yep. Should that primary goals and mission, since at the title, shouldn't that be in parentheses? Or quotations? Or quotations, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Um, is that a title or? Because that's the title of the a footnote for anything in well, it. I mean, in well, the line. well, no, that's the same as what we showed as the title up there. The only thing that's missing is an announce. And that announce, I think we took out of that, didn't we? At the top? Yeah. We did not take them out. No, so. no, that announce up there in the in the in the header is not really part of it. That's yeah, only that's telling that's you where we're at. Well, really, neither is the footer there. Oh, oh no, no, no. Not that there, that, that bold part, the bold print. print. Go, go, to go the bold primary part. goals. Little Lord, little Lord, little Lord. No, little Lord. 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 Actually, going back. Well, no, well, wait, there, right there, there it is. Right there. That is the announce. Is what we're talking about. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I'd say even yeah. even if you leave the announce out down below, it. Yeah, I think you're right, Frankie. Yeah, I think you ought to have a quotation. Well, how about how about if we do this? A resolution to announce, and then put the uh, put. Move the quotation uh, over. Quotation marks after it announced instead yeah. of before it. And make announce in, in, in uh, lower case. The A as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Give her that Thank one you. more Thank practice. Take care, take care of that other quotation mark that's there. Drop out the before the announce. The opening quotation. The, uh, the quotation yeah. mark before the before A. Before the announce. Announce. <coughs> announce. Drop that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now go back to the top and see how we've done it there. Okay, announce the resolution to announce. Uh, what you need is, is to put the announce, authority. not all capitalized, and put it on that first line, the resolution to announce, and then have the primary goals and mission of Okay, good, good. Yeah. I'm not Just following you. Go up there on the, on the first line, the resolution yep, to the announce. Yeah, the resolution to. The resolution to oh, announce. Yeah. Okay. And lowercase. Right. Yep. And lowercase. Yeah. So this, you're going to well, erase keep, that. Well, keep the first part capitalized because it's a title, but the rest is lowercase of the name. Uh, I can't. Okay. All right, man. We're going to take this out. Right. And put Logan. Uh, Okay, and then put yeah, put it over there. Right. That's right. And then start with a capital A, and then the rest lowercase. No. Yeah. Not capital A. If you're going to have the resolution capitalized, it's a title. Therefore, you need to be consistent in your title verbiage. I think I could go either way, but I I, I like it better with the capital A. Yeah. You need to take out the space before the T of the. There's a space in front of the key. There is? Yep. I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh, and then one of the ones we already voted for, there was a space between gold yeah. and silver. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Your way. Too. Yep. I forgot about that. Shame on you. I'm sure you'll get That's that. That's okay. They, they still have to vote on it. So. Okay. Okay. We <laughs> have something to do with it. That's more like a typo there. Still, it makes us look bad. I don't want to have that stuff. It's your secretary. Yeah, I mean, if you're putting this out, is it? Hey, we're talking to the uneducated American public here. 99% of them aren't going to know the difference. That's right, but our audience is also foreign dignitaries well, in countries. And, and it's history, too. And it's history. Right. And if you're going to put something out of a formal nature, you don't want to look like a hillbilly. I mean, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to pull it together. All near perfect. I mean, it should be perfect. <laughs> but once again, read the first nine sessions of Congress. Yeah, we they have all, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, we like probably have, there was a <laughs> yeah. We we'll probably have to come back to that too. Well, hey, we're living in a five or highly educated five. society now. Well, I think we got to vote on this thing, don't we? Get more educated. We're not done. We're not, we're we're not, not, we're not, yet. We're not even going. Oh, I think we've got another whole page. Yeah. 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 There we go. Well, if there's going to be anything added, okay, you want to go through first of all and see if there's any uh, grammar, grammar, grammatical things that got to be changed here. Oh, I have, I have something aside from all of that. You got something you want to add? Yeah, but this is off the subject. If we're going to continue and come back after lunch, we need to go to lunch now so yeah. that we can get back in before we finish the rest. Because if we keep going and then take lunch, we're not going to be able to get back in. Announce to everybody on the line, please. What? Do they want to break from is there, there, is there a, a. Do I have a second? I'll second. make a motion. Yes, yeah. yeah. He made the motion. Okay. Do they lock the door here? And we're probably going to need an hour for lunch because we all got to go out to eat. Is there a quick barbecue place nearby? Or there, we saw a barbecue place coming into town. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go back to 281, turn right, and a block that's on the left. 
So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor of going to lunch and taking an hour to return back at, uh, let's say, at 1.30? Uh, uh, I think the day is going to Vote twice. Okay. Announce it to the folks online. We'll stay online, but we're going to be out for one hour. Okay, for y'all that's online, we are going to break for lunch, and we will return at 1.30. Okay? So... But we're going to remain online. Okay. okay, I didn't do very good getting us started on time this morning, but it is now 1.30 and I'm going to start us on time in the afternoon. All right, we were last working on the uh, goals and mission. And I think we were down to the second page. To the meat of it in the second page, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, does, does anybody see anything that needs to be corrected in that? Um, it says educate the people of Texas. Where's the microphone? I'm behind your computer. Oh. It says, uh, second paragraph, educate the people of Texas about their loss of freedoms due to the actions of the occupying power, is what I would call it. <coughs> I think you need to, like, repeat that. I agree with you. Just keep repeating that. Yeah. Uh, and Restore I to the people the ability to live their lives free of the occupying power. I.e. I.e., what do you mean? Corporate, federal, and state governments? No, just the occupying power. Bring the people of Texas together in a constitutional convention to form a proper lawful government for the purpose of protecting individual rights, property rights, and the defense of the country. Yeah, well, that's fine. Okay, well, I think the I.E. is not a bad idea. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. People won't. They need to re yeah, well, you need to relations. teach them to equate the occupying power to the corporate uh, control, the yeah. federal and corporate state. So let's go back to the second one. Educate the people of Texas about their loss of freedoms due to the actions of the occupying power. That worked, right. that worked good. Okay. I.e. I .e. The corporate, state, and yeah. federal uh, powers. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, if you're going to do that, uh, it would probably be better to put um, occupying powers and then in brackets, United States and its subsidiary state of Texas. Yeah. Corporate. That's more corporate. in line. Uh, what, more what, what am I doing here? Yeah. First occupying powers. OQ. OC. Corporate federal and state government. CU? C -U. Yeah. Uh -huh. P? E Y. I think you have it. Okay. Occupying powers. You want to say instead of government's authorities? Then we're going to... Well, they're not governments and they're not authorities. Now, they're not, but they're yeah. acting as. But yeah. that, that's well, how people how did relate you, to what was your That's phrasing? the illusion. What that's was your phrasing, Glenn, that uh, after occupying powers, you said... I.E. Oh, yeah, it was what we did before. I.E. The... Uh, I, 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 you could even... Well, it would be a little bit... You could say the foreign bankrupt corporation, United States, and its subsidiary state of Texas, but uh, actually you can just say, i.e., United States and the state of Texas. And its subsidiary. And its subsidiary state, state of Texas. Texas right. And I have a question. Are we writing this for us, or are we writing it for someone else to see? Well, this is going to be history, right? <clears throat> this is our marching We're order. writing this for someone else to see. Okay, if we're writing it for Perfect someone years. else to see, we need to write it, i.e., the corporate, federal, and state governments, because that's what the people that are 
we want to see it I agree. are going to relate occupying powers to. If you put in what we know it is, they're not going to know what that is, i.e. They're not going to understand it. You know, it's they not going to make understand. sense to them because they know about the Should government. it be in parentheses? No, it shouldn't. It should right. be a comma after powers. And then I, the yeah. is I don't I don't like the word governments though, because they're not. They're corporations. We know they aren't governments, but the people that we're trying to talk to don't understand that. We're trying to educate them. And the only way you can educate them is to talk them to the language five, that they understand. Well wouldn't it be better then to go ahead and do how we're saying it and if they have questions about what do we mean occupying powers then that would open the door to more conversation versus dumbing us down we relevate them up you know what i mean but i think when you put that statement in there that way you're going to end the conversation because they're not going to ask what we mean because that's just not the nature of people you could you could do it as he's got it written there and then uh, before the period after governments, you could put a parenthesis and put the uh, United States in cap, I mean, what, what we've done before, and its subsidiary. Yeah, you could put you that could afterward. That. Yeah. Then you have and everything. You have everything in there, correct. So because that's what you really, if you, if you overdo it and, and you let them, they can start thinking, what did they mean by that? I find out, well, they mean that, oh, it's better. Corporate federal. Oh, they're mean United States. I wonder why they put an all capital letter. I mean, it gives a point to where they can ask questions. If you don't have all of that there, they're still off swimming in the deep end. Yep. <laughs> you know? You guys have you guys have two microphones out there. Okay. And I'm not sure that people online can hear you well enough. Yeah. Okay. Because you're going through a, a distance to get to the microphone. Right. Sorry. I get too caught up in it right now. So how do we want to state this? I like it like that. And then, uh, but then what we're thinking now about after the government is putting parentheses, put in parentheses, parentheses yeah, right. that defines corporate federal and state by putting in parentheses uh, all capital United States. The United States. Yeah, the United States, and then lower cases and its subsidiaries, including the state of Texas, all capital. United? Yeah. <laughs> well, we will. There's a Redneck Chronicles here, buddy. Say that again, Tom. <laughs> Tom, say it again. What goes into parentheses? Uh, he started right in the United States and its subsidiaries, and those are lowercase. That's lowercase. They're lowercase? Lowercase verbs yeah. and its subsidiaries. The United States. What the hell happened? Subsidiaries. Yeah. I think there's an I after there's the D. I after the R. There's an I after the R? After the D. Oh, yeah. Subsidy, yeah, now you pass it up. Uh, take the E up and the yeah. L. And then, A. and then A. after subsidiary is right, including and then all capitals, the state of Texas. Is that right, Glenn? Mm -hmm. Sorry? All capitals, the state of Texas, <coughs> Yeah. And then close parentheses and period. Yeah, is that a comma after government or a period? Subsidiaries is spelled incorrectly. Yeah. You yeah. Take out the R. Yeah, yeah. Next to the last just one. just uh, highlight it and, and do a right click on your mouse and it'll come up with your proper spelling. There you go. See? Top one. And, uh, there you go. Is that a period after government or a comma? 
governments. Yeah. Is that period. A period. There should either be no punctuation or a comma, one or the other. Not a period. Well, that was the end of the sentence. <laughs> No, the end of the sentence. It well, was before we put yeah, it. Well, yeah. You got to it remove was. the period after governments. There you go. Share the screen, Dave. On a Zoom, can you share? What's that? Can you share the screen on Zoom? Yeah. Who we got on? The rest of that look good. Good to me. Uh, you said, you know, Frank, uh, Glenn, you were saying something about that third one here, power restored to the people the ability to live their lives free of government intervention. Did you have something? In intervention you by the occupying powers. Free of. Intervention by the occupying powers. Yeah, free of intervention by the uh, uh, occupying powers. That then reinforces what you just taught them in the previous. Uh, yeah. Line. so much to hate government. Yeah. Uh, so if it's there, you're, you're really repeating, you're being redundant, government intervention by the occupying powers. But okay. for, for this particular audience that we're most interested in, in connecting with, it, it, it would be the, I think we can leave government in there. Okay. Well, okay. Then next on the third, on the what is it? The fourth one, where it talks about protecting individual rights, property rights, and the defense of the country. Uh, property rights are Republic. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, property rights are individual rights. So it's kind of redundant. And um, what country? Because when well, again talking to the general populace. When you use the word country, they believe you're referring to the union itself. Republic instead? How about in defense of the Texas nation? I like that too. Or, yeah. And how, about, how about we be consistent I say, say the Texas Republic? I like that better. 
I would say and themselves. That way it, it lets them know that we're not, not just defending the nation, you still have the, the gun rights to defend yourself. That just reiterates Should that be all caps? No. No. Never all caps. That's a data person. Okay, there's there's some issues here. Government for the purpose. Item one of protecting individual rights. And then we can address that later. And that then would be it for the purpose of protecting property rights. And then you have for the purpose of the defense of the Texas Republic. Okay. Is that protecting the defense or? Well, I think that's a separate statement. So right. And the defense of the country is, is different from. Yeah, but you have, a, you have a comma after individual rights and property rights, so it, it would appear that that's one of the three. Uh, so also, you say, you say you need a comma after well, property rights? If you're going to have per protecting, and it's going to refer to individual rights and property rights, you need an and and not a comma. And then another and for, and, uh, for the purpose of protecting and then for the purpose of the defense, or for the purpose of the defense of the Texas Republic. An and instead of a comma? Or do we? Yeah, after individual rights. If we're still going to hold on to that. For now. But I think, Frankie, what, what we're trying to get at is the Bill of Rights. And when we write property rights, we're trying to uh, get rid of uh, uh, property tax. There's another aspect of to why we need this constitution. I mean, one of the products you want out of that constitutional convention, and I'm not quite sure how we would go about it, but you want to provide an environment for uh, business uh, development, for, for honest and uh, healthy or uh, protective uh, business development. I don't know. All we have are negatives here. We're protecting defense of property. Let, let me ask if, if in that sentence there, after property rights, and for the defense of the Texas Republic, or as it was on here, for the defense of the country, and for the I defense should've, of the I should've, government. I should have made this republic. Yeah, you're right, Bruce. Uh, for the purpose of protecting, for the purpose of the defense. For the defense. Or, or, yeah, yeah. So that way you don't have the purpose. You don't have to say purpose. Yeah, it's yeah. tied in. And it. for the defense. Just put a for in front yeah. of the. Instead of and here, it should be for. No, and for. And for. And before, no, huh? the and before. Before the, the defense put for. Yeah, that's what I said. And for. The yeah, defense. that's what. And then. Defense of the Texas Republic and the people? Or I think we was and, and for oneself. Bring the people of Texas together into a constitutional convention to form a proper lawful government for the purpose of protecting individual rights and property rights and for the defense of the Republic, Texas Republic, and, and what I'm wanting is something Hey, wait a minute, hey, how about if we change it this way? For the purpose of protecting individual and property rights 
and for the defense of the country. What country? Yep, go back to what country? The Texas Republic. Well, okay, we can. Uh, that could be changed to the Texas Republic. For defense of the Texas Republic. And stop it there. John, John wanted to add themselves, but individual rights may already cover that. I, I... So this would take a comma. So I'm saying take out, take out right. rights. Rights after individual. After, uh, individual. Okay. Take out Protect, rights after protecting individual. Protecting individual and property rights. Right. Correct. And for the defense of, should, should we, can we just say Republic or should we say, you know, of the Republic or should we say of the Texas Republic? I think, I think you guys Texas are probably Republic. in favor of repeating it often. Because even, it's still the same thing even with going with uh, Republic, people are still under this idea that the Union is a Republic. And, yeah. and, and the more we pound Texas That's Republic okay. into their minds. Pound that in, right. And I, I'm thinking of adding a positive on top of that after Texas Republic or and for, it's all and, positive. And, and for the provision of and, and, and provisions for the uh, the growth the uh, the safe and secure growth of commerce in the Texas Republic. I want to say I think that's another. Is that another bullet point? Okay. I don't think it's necessary to add anything else to that. To that particular one, but yeah, I mean, we're looking at a constitutional convention here, and you're talking about uh, providing a proper government. And what do you want that proper, that lawful government to be a created for? Republic, a constitutional yeah, representative. It's for, for the, you create that government for the purpose, for what purposes? Protecting individual and property rights and for the defense of the Texas Republic, but also for uh, a, a, a prosperous, uh, you know, appropriate provisions for smooth and, and uh, commerce. Uh, uh, You're looking for a transition. I, 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 this is this is a constitutional convention. We've narrowed it to just protecting well, commerce. Be an individual right. Our property. Our property. When you're talking about commerce, you're talking about providing a means of of. Uh, Looks well, like developing roads and, and things. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know if that's what we want, but uh, but there needs a, a pro and provide a proper environment for our commercial uh, for a flir for a flourishing economy. Uh, because this does that need to be in here? Well. If you're going to have a meeting of the Constitutional Convention, do you want to narrow it to just those things? Seems to me it says bring the people together to form a proper lawful government. Do you want to narrow it just to the protecting of these rights and the defense? Or do you want a proper Sir, yeah, I think those are covered. Or do you want a proper lawful government also for expediting the growth and prosperity of the Republic. I mean, it's one constitutional convention and you're, and it's for the purpose of creating a proper lawful government. But you've only included just uh, individual and property rights protections and the defense. Individual, comma, business and property rights? How about, how about Say to form a proper, lawful national government. The 
again, allowing the counties and the municipalities to take control of what all they want to take control of. That their people will allow them to take control of. And providing government controls for the proper functioning of state, county, and local governments. Okay. No, because then you're putting the, the, no. the, the head government in charge of all the rest. That's the same thing going on today. Yeah, that's what we got No, I, it's, it's got to be the national government's got to give up yeah, that's these abilities to, to the local. That's where you can best control it. Whenever the local people have control of their government. If they don't like something that their elected officials pass, what do they do? They remove them from office. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, if you protect these things and defense the country, automatically the prosperity will flourish. Uh, you don't have to, you don't want to, to uh, provide a government that tells you how you're going to prosper. You want to just have the conditions. Look what they're trying to do to the world. What are they trying to do to the world right now? Yeah, right. They want a central government for the whole damn world. All where you want, have no decision yeah. on what to All I'm thinking about is providing the environment against that okay. that kind of thing happening. Let's and recognize it's, John. It's, okay. okay. For, He's got a, yeah. Well, yeah, that that okay. Okay. For the, uh, no, that's all right. No, you know, turn, you're you're going. Going. He, he turned his Yeah, it is on. Yeah. Okay, maybe another point for in between that point and the return to common law that be It's that speaker that's feeding back to you. I got to watch it too. Go ahead, go ahead and speak. Okay, in between that point and the and the next point return to the common law put another point in there promote the uh promote free enterprise which is business and and you know whatever yeah that's the kind of thing i was trying to trying to get to something yeah. positive yeah promote some free enterprise yeah yeah you want to add that into into promote point. free enterprise so I can't say a proper lawful government for the purpose and for the defense and the uh, God, I can't see the crap. And the promotion of free enterprise. See, but if, like, if you go down to the very last one that says promote for all Texan American nationals equal access to the world and business prospered through lawful treaties with other countries. We already that's, covered that. But yes. that's, yeah, but that's for going. international business. That's not only for business as usual, for business locally. No, it says to the world for business. To the that world. would that would mean that would mean mean anybody that would exist on planet Earth, any entity on planet Earth. It would. It doesn't have to be a difference between the business here. Versus me trading with France, but I but that but the structure of that sentence leads you to believe that you're talking about international and, trade, yeah, and being able to trade and, with and other yeah, countries, being the able thing, to do business with other countries. The thing I'm trying to get at is I want an environment where you don't have lobbyists and under the table. That I want a free enterprise you where everybody uh, has. You don't have. all that needs to be on this. Yeah. Well, if you're going to have a constitutional convention and you're trying to define what the purpose of having it for is, I think that would be part of what that constitutional convention would want to cover, a means of providing uh, a system of equal fair play in the marketplace. Uh, because what we're living with today is not that. In medicine and everything else. If you have a constitution that protects individuals' rights, it protects all of that, doesn't 
It depends upon who interprets it 50 years from then. Exactly. I, I'm, yeah, just, I'm just trying to cover something that I find extremely wrong in today's world. Yep. I agree. I'm not quite sure how to write it. I may have to sleep on it and then come back to it. We'll work on this and. Uh, right. Uh, this is only the second reading. Okay. Okay. Let's leave that as is and I'll be thinking about it. Let's continue on. Okay, you can go, there's where the gold is. You have a space between gold and the comma there. You need to get rid of it. Uh, that would keep it from feeding back. <laughs> Did you set that trap for me? You don't have to kick it too, you know. <laughs> it lost one of its legs. Oh, okay. Not connected. Ah. You broke it. We all witnessed it. He's the one. Looks like you're he done it. Well, that's right. It's been missing for quite a while. Yeah. I wish I had some screws screw. here with me. I'd put a screw in it, but I don't. I just don't know what's right the next point. Now. I don't even have any duct tape. Okay, return to the common law. We consider freedom and self respect. We don't need both of these speakers on, I don't think. No. So we'll just leave the dog one thing unplugged. If everybody speaks in the microphone, everybody can hear it. So. Okay. Anything else on here right now for the second reading? Okay. Nothing else? Is there a motion to approve? Is there a motion to approve all of these changes to the second reading? I'll make the motion. I second. Okay, we got a motion by Sparks and a second by Bailey to approve all of these changes. Okay, now is there a motion to, well, I guess we need to vote on that. All those in favor of accepting all of these changes signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Abstentions? Okay, it's unanimous. Okay, so we've we've accepted those uh, amendments to it. Now, is there a motion to approve this as amended, as the second I'm three? So motion. And we're uh, also motioning to engross this to the third for the third reading, right? That is correct. Okay, is there a motion, Tom Bailey? Is there a second? Representative. Nieto second. Okay. Any further discussion? Seeing none. I right hear a vote to accept this with a yay for accepting it. Yay. All those in favor? Favor yay. say yay. 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 Opposed. Is Barry still on? He's showing to be on. Yeah. Okay. You still on, Barry? Okay, it's unanimous from me. He's sleeping. Here. Okay. That's so, what happens to me. Okay, so again, this is only voted on by the House, unfortunately not by the Senate, so the Senate's going to have to review this with these changes in it. And we'll have to get a copy of that to to the uh, Senate uh, leader, Senate Pro Temp. So we don't. I'm sorry, to, we don't John. Have to it's not going to do me any good to try to send anything to your email, right? You got it. <laughs> so I'm going to send it to we'll, we'll send it to, to the, 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 the vice president and, and he will get it to the Senate okay 
We will get all of these to the Senate then. Uh, all right, so are we done? Well, get a computer, I'll probably get 10,000 emails. Oh, no, yeah, you're going to have fun with that. <laughs> try, try and cheer. Okay, where are we at? Passport. Yeah. I can't even want to know what's up with that. Um, the next item on the agenda is we have to make notification of the national election coming up on September 14th and all county representatives are up for election or re-election. A third of the Senate seats are up and those are districts 3, 4, Five, seven, and ten. Is that what they were? Three, four, four eight, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, three, four, eight, nine, and ten. Somebody knows more than I do here. Um, and it's on uh, the table. Everybody's got it. Oh, it's on the table. Yeah. Okay, I have a copy of that somewhere. Um, and all the uh, county seats are available and. Something else that needs to be mentioned about that is the counties need to, each of the counties needs to get together and have their elections for their, um, um, what am I trying to say? I'm having one of those too. The, the, the judges and, county and offices. The, county yeah, offices. the county offices because none of those people to the best of my knowledge have been elected in quite some time yeah. and i don't know what their term is supposed to be but some of them have been around for a while and there have been no elections so they may or may not want to run again they may want somebody to take their place but the counties need to be in charge of that and there's a uh, space for certain you need to review. On the back table back there, there are actually applications for the positions in government. There, your there are <laughs> applications for the um, ID cards back there. Also, David, also, Sim. In the space, you need to do it. Up, down. Not where it's to the far right there. There you go. Everywhere there's a blue line. That's, you know, I like you know my secret now. <laughs> so, and there's affidavits for Texians back there too. So if anybody needs or wants an ID card. I guess we should share this. Well, I want one. Well, yeah, you got to take a, your pictures of it. I've got it. I also have to take pictures of everybody that wants one today. I had one taken during the raid, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was taken by the police. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's a good mug shot. Yeah. It'll go right on. I, I yeah, go ahead and take my picture again. I wish I got in the haircut. Yeah, anybody that needs their picture taken for an ID card, uh, stick around when we're done. Uh, we'll take care of that. And the next item up on the agenda is the announcement of the 11th <coughs> Congressional Session, which not located in the um, We don't know where that's going to be yet. That's July 13th. Right. And so that hasn't been decided yet. Tom and I are going to work at trying to get this up at, up at Waco at the, what's it, Trujillo? Trujillo? Trujillo Mexican Restaurant, which is a very good restaurant, very reasonable prices, the food is very good, and, and, service. and the service is very good, and the people that we met that uh, own and run that place are, are seem to be very good people. And I'm hoping that they will accept us there uh, to have meeting because uh, if we're going to meet someplace and try to do that routinely rather than traveling around, which I'm still in favor of traveling around, 
but it's up to this body to determine whether we want to continue to travel around or whether we want to locate in one, one place. Uh, and so we're going to try that. At the same time, uh, uh, the president is looking into Gonzales, where we had a session, what, maybe two years ago, possibly? Uh, at that same location there, that little uh, motel or hotel there in downtown Gonzales. Uh, but I'll be letting you know that as soon as possible because I want to get the update out for the, uh, for the next session as soon as I can on the internet, on our website. So, I guess we're ready to take a motion to recess this session. That's our motion. Motion to recess by Tom Bailey. Is there a second? I second. second. Mike Blackwell? Okay. All those favor, in favor of recessing, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, it passes unanimously. Can I have a closing prayer, Mr. Bailey? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to practice our free will in a free country. Help us make this country free the way you meant it to be in the first place. And help us stay strong and full of energy to pursue your will to provide for the happiness and productivity of your people for your purposes. Thank you for helping us get here safely for having your hand on us at all times. And thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Uh, help us find also more young people and also improve our energy levels at our ages right now so that we can continue successfully in, in restoring our our nation, our republic. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay.